everyone wants to learn faster. How do you learn faster? In mind tricks to learn anything fast. But there's something these videos aren't telling you. To explain what it is, we have to go to the ballet studio. We have to learn some Spanish. Batata morada. And we have to solve some math problems. Valerie was having a problem. She kept practicing her ballet forms, but she couldn't get them quite the way she wanted them. That's when she started using a mirror. Now the mirror gave her this instant feedback so that she could immediately correct her posture and get that perfect form that she was striving for. Senor Gomez was having a problem in his fifth grade class. His students kept forgetting the new vocabulary words he would teach them. So he decided on a new policy, teaching a focused mastery class to help the students learn these words more quickly. During that class, he would spend the whole time on these new vocabulary words until the students had mastered them. Now he could sense the difference just in that class session. There was a big difference between how much the students knew when they started and how much they knew at the end. Something similar was happening down the hall in the math classroom. Miss McLaughlin gave her students some time to solve problems on their own and she thought that she could teach them more effectively if she gave them more frequent feedback. So students could see their mistakes more often and have more opportunities to learn. And she was very happy with the results. These stories all have one thing in common. They backfired. Valerie did fine when she was practicing in front of a mirror, but during the performance, she didn't do nearly as good. And Mr. Gomez's students were doing great in class, but then they didn't do so hot on the final. Miss McLaughlin's students did well during the problem solving sessions, but not as well on the unit tests. To explain this difference, we have to make a distinction between short term performance and long term learning. There are lots of things that can improve our performance rapidly in the short term, but ultimately result in worse long term learning. I based each of these stories on a research article. In Valerie's case, she was using a tool during practice that wasn't there during the performance. So she was focusing on an external source of feedback, which likely led her to neglect internal sources of feedback, like where her body was at any given time. Her story was based on a line of research about weightlifting, which suggests that when you lift weights in front of a mirror, you get better when you practice in front of the mirror. But as soon as you remove that mirror, your form gets worse. The mastery session that Mr. Gomez was using was really just another way for students to cram. And cramming is usually a pretty terrible idea. The story was based on a study teaching Spanish vocabulary words to students at three different intervals. So one group of students studied the vocabulary words now and a few hours later. Another group of students studied the vocabulary now and a day later. And then a third group of students studied the vocabulary words now and 30 days later. The two study sessions that were 30 days apart meant students forgot a lot of vocabulary words during those 30 days. But at the long term measure, the, that 30 day period after the last study session, it was the 30 day interval group who did the best and the zero day interval group who did the worst. Giving students more frequent feedback seems like a no brainer. Don't we want them to recognize their mistakes and, and have the chance to correct those mistakes? Her story was based on a research study comparing giving feedback to math students and not giving feedback to math students. For students with at least some prior knowledge of the problems or problem solving strategies, giving them feedback actually interrupted how deeply they processed the material. I'm not saying we shouldn't be trying to learn things faster. Learning efficiently is important, but when we make learning fast our top priority, it's often a problem. This next video explains one of the reasons why. I'll see you there.